Hey, that's my little dog, Ronnie. Hey, Ronnie. He's a mame Shiba Inu. And um, I have another one, too. So, earlier today, uh, I posted a TikTok that Veronica was going to take mushrooms. And then she took mushrooms. And then um, I posted another one of her taking them. And then I posted another one of her high on them. Hopefully, Ox can put all three of those videos in the in this post. But For the day, work out, jacuzzi, wash the dogs, the towels, the sheets, edit some videos, and then I'm going to eat. You mean you're going to cook mushrooms or you're going to eat mushrooms for a psychedelic experience? Well, I microdose them, so somewhat psychedelic experience. Well, I don't drink enough. I'll still be sober, people. Everyone's going and through ounces and ounces of vodka and tequila and that shit make you fit. Um, the, the, the reason that I wanted to talk about that is because I've been sober for 15 years. And there have been a lot of people that are like, oh, good for you. I could never do that. You know, I even have, even my aunt's actually trying to get sober. She's sober right now. And her husband, she wants her husband to stop drinking. You know, it's like, you know, it's just a, the reason that I am talking about it is because I, I, I'm fine with her doing mushrooms and different things. But uh, this is mushrooms? Yep. Mm -hmm. Lily's chocolate. How'd you get mushrooms in the chocolate? Nikki made it for me. So you're sticking to our agreement. I'm, that's why I'm eating them in front of you. Why? Because it's important for you to know. Why? Uh, so you feel included. See, that's the agreement that we have. If she's going to do mushrooms or Molly or ecstasy, she needs to tell me. If we're at a party, okay. Or what about acid? Acid, anything. I'm just kidding. <laughs> if we're at a party and she fucking disappears and comes back fucked up, I feel like left out. Should it be like open like that for 20 minutes? Oh, check out my new Learning to Lose shirts. Cop one, Shut kids. Your fucking mouth. Make a list to keep myself on task. Today, here's what I was supposed to do. I was supposed to work out. Did that. Go in the jacuzzi. Did that. Wash the dogs, the towels, Please and the sheets. Did not do that. Edit video, I'm still gonna do that. And the last thing on my list was to eat mushrooms. I don't know, I didn't do the main tasks, but I think oh, wait, I awesome. deserve them. Do you? Wait, what are you doing? Let me see. I think so. I think I deserved a little micro. <laughs> Even though I've been sober, and I am sober, it doesn't really affect me. You're just yippity yappity doos, aren't you? Yeah. Well, I'm just talking about, you know, what, what it's like to have a drug addict, loser, piece of shit for a wife, you know? <laughs> I am not those things. Yeah, I know you're not. Why don't you make me one? I forgot. I was on the phone with DDA. Why are you laughing every five seconds? Because I'm... <laughs> I'm buzzing a little. You're buzzing a little on what? Mushrooms. Then they see your last six posts. Right. <laughs> so you're feeling it. Yeah, she's feeling it, but it's not like she's tripping out. <laughs> what? 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 I don't know. That's it. You're just laughing at nothing. This is the fucking mushroom master right here. Get out, bro. <laughs> Susie handed me a joint earlier through the FaceTime. It was fun. Oh my god. <laughs> you can laugh, you can live vicariously through them, you know? But I'm just, you know, because we've been getting, I've been getting a lot more like exposure on um, TikTok, so I just wanted to talk. I mean, we're only given a minute on TikTok, so it's hard to, it's just hard to, you know, you post a little, clip of your life and people are just like they just so many comments about oh that's not chill or you seem unhappy or whatever um what else someone just asked me what advice do you have with acceptance who you or me me 
acceptance. Because I posted this one saying, I didn't do anything and that's okay. Uh, yeah, no, this TikTok shit is really cool. Um, been getting just a lot of people that are, they're actually getting help. Like my videos are helping. I know them. what I'm going to say. You know, it's my favorite thing you ever said. I think it's an AA thing. It's like, don't let the ember burn. Like, yeah. some might call me narrow-minded or stupid or like, oh, life is fun and fruitful. But it's the way you're supposed to be. I just think about it. It is. And I just go, eh. I mean, what? Brush it off. Right. So the, the point of that. Not to the point of like, if something's upsetting you with someone, you should talk about it. That's, I have to work on the other end of that and communicate more, blah, blah, blah. But Yeah. Well, it's good to talk about problems with the people you're having them with but the ember analogy is like your thoughts are like a your brain it's like a big bonfire and you know whatever the negative thoughts can be like embers and if you let them sit for too long they'll burn through you know they'll burn through your clothes your shirt and then you keep thinking about it and it burns through your skin and then before you know it's burning through your bone and for me as an alcoholic my thoughts my the negative thought life that i have is it can be really detrimental and harmful to me because it can scar like once you think about something for too long it becomes now it's like very hard to let that go and it, it can consume me and it can really rob me of the peace that life is supposed to bring me you know and she's able to be happy and joyous pretty much every day. I don't know how. I mean, especially in this situation we're in right now, there's a lot no, of financial really fear. Depressed the first couple of days, and you actually pulled me out. You forget, remember? I was actually yeah. tripping, and you're like, this is. Well, yeah, it's because I, I do the work I'm supposed to do as a sober member of Alcoholics Anonymous. I read shit, and actually, I was also eating more healthy, and there's more to do than just stay sober. You have to do. You have to, you know, AA doesn't work unless you work it. And um, there's certain principles you have to live by and you have to read the stuff and you have to help others. Ah, speaking of that, I got to call my sponsee, Jordan. Um, so don't let that ember burn you. You know, just it'll be okay. God, help me help remove this negative thought from my life. Help me focus on you. What would you have me do in this situation? How can I be of service to others? And how, how can I be loving and grateful and um, humble and honest with my fellow people and just contribute to the harmony in the world rather than um, being in fear and, and selfish ego. Um, love you guys. This Stay safe. Sound. And thanks for watching. It's still